So is serial killer tourism a bad idea? <laughs> I have to say that because, you know, there's this news report here, and there's this guy, that's right, and he wants to give tours. That's right, he's hoping to draw people over there. That's right. So that you can go out and you can visit the locations where serial killer hunters is prey, female. That's right. You know, spent years mail bashing guys and calling guys monsters and villains, treating them like dirt because they fell for the propaganda fed to them. That's right. Because, you know, we all know that women are smarter than men. That's why they fell for the propaganda. That's right. Because, you know, the real truth comes down to the fact that we've all fallen into this, every last one of us, social conditioning and shit. From the time he was a little baby, it's been going on for years and years and years and years and years. Okay? But anyhow, uh, here, let me show you this because this guy wants to give you a tour of a serial killer. So, you know, I don't know if serial killer tourism is going to be a hit or not, but I just did a video, just today, matter of fact, earlier, hmm, about missing women, serial killers, and how we create our own killers, just to run into this. Now, Newsline with Ken Schramm. All over the airwaves. We'll see what you think here. All over town. This is something different than taking them to the Space Needle. The newest tourist attraction near the Space Needle. And you've had to have had negative feedback. Has some in disbelief. He killed a friend of mine. This is not a good idea. And then the bus will be parked right across the street on First Avenue over there. Meet entrepreneur Matt Lewis. Stay-at-home dad by day, new tour guide by night who saw a void when it came to local history. The most prolific serial killer in the history of the United States of America, and it happened here, and that's a huge, huge thing. It's Lewis has decided to follow in the footsteps of serial killer Gary Ridgway, and to take tourists there as well. He's launched what he calls the Green River Killer Tour. We show you the places where he you know, hunted for victims. Hoping people will pay to visit the spots and hear the stories of how Ridgeway murdered four dozen women. It's a part of the Northwest history, and um, I don't think it should be forgotten. The idea set off a storm of controversy. The emotions surrounding the Green River Killer are still pretty raw. Well, I'm still struggling with the moral issues um, that may affect the families. Um, I, I do think he's gonna. I, I think he's gonna make a good run at this. The run doesn't start until next month, taking the discussion off the air and on the trail of a notorious killer. Everything we do is very respectful, and we want people to know that 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 we're in no way glorifying what Gary Ridgway did. In Seattle, Mary Nam, Como 4 News. Okay, there you go. Okay, you know, maybe it would be a good idea, huh? Yeah. Maybe you people could finally get it through your head that you're the cause of this. Did you notice, you know, this guy's victims? Oh, I know, you're all going to say, but he was sick. He was a psychopath. He was born that way. No. No. I want to know how many of you people was there in his life walking in his fucking shoes when he was born. Did you know he was born that way? You wasn't. That's your cop out. That's what you people always use as cop outs. You dig for the first, easiest, fastest cop out to get around. To get around. To get around because you don't want to acknowledge. And because you refuse to acknowledge, well, that's probably because acknowledgement means you have to take some responsibility. And that is something you don't want to do, is take responsibility for your behavior. Okay, so since you don't want responsibility for your behavior, quit whining and crying when this happens. See, he wasn't born nuts. I'll guarantee you he was not born crazy, psycho, blah, blah, blah. No. You people made him. You designed him. You created him. You drew the blueprints to him. He only did what you created. What do you think the majority of his victims? What did they said? They loved his victims. That's supposed to be an accident? Oh no, it's because he was a nut. He was a woman hater. No, he wasn't a woman hater. Yeah, he was a nut after you people made him nuts. 
That's right, after you people made him that way. Now, I wasn't born that way. I'll guarantee he wasn't. I'll guarantee he was not born that way. He was pushed out by Nijinas and women. He was slammed, duck slammed, and slams and more. You know, let's look at this. We have a story here that's not that old. It was just in the news the other day. I didn't even do a video on it. 15 year old boy shot and killed his sister while she was sleeping. Shot her in the head, I guess, three times. And they didn't have an explanation. They didn't know why he did it. And one of the friends came forward that he had talked to. And it's because of what I've witnessed with my own eyes. You know, it's funny though, when I read the story and they didn't know why he did it, I knew why he did it. I did. I knew why he did it. It was right there. I mean, it was just common sense. But nobody knew why he did it. And then a friend comes up and says what he was told. I asked her for a friend of the boy. Says what he was told by the boy. And it's what I thought. <laughs> I've witnessed it with my own eyes. I've seen it so many times. Parents have a couple boys or they have a couple girls or then a boy, what have you. It's got your children, right? And the girls get special privileges. That's right. They get placed on a pedestal by mommy and daddy. And mommy and daddy shove brother to the side. Yep. We love daughter better than brother. Yep. No, no, we love our kids equally, they say. But then you watch their behavior. And their behavior isn't loving their kids equal. Their behavior is they have placed their little girl up on a fucking pedestal and shit all over their son because they got shit on their son. He's just a boy. He's just a guy. And this 15-year-old boy couldn't take it. He's tired of watching his sister be the blah, blah, blah and him be the Piece of shit. Lost his head. Shot and killed his sister. Sad. Shouldn't happen. But it's from placing the female where you placed her. It's no different here. This serial killer is no different. Why do you think the majority of serial killers kill women? Not all of them. Sure, there are some serial killers that are actually psychopaths. Nuts. Okay? But the majority of them, oh yeah, they're nuts when they do their crimes. But that was only after you people created them. That's right, after all the unaginas. That's right, who attack people for no reason at all other than you can. That's right. After all the unaginas and all the females. Get through it. Don't blame me? Well, let's look at what's really going on in society. I said it in my earlier video. When a guy got his penis cut off, Marina Bobbitt became a star. She became a celebrity. That's right. She was a celebrity amongst all the women for cutting a man's penis off. Then when a man, another man gets his penis cut off years later, what happens? Well, that's right. Five women get up on ABC on national TV and laugh and mock and laugh and oh it was funny it was big yeah 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 man bashing's funny and then you naginas you jump right up there alongside the women and you man bash your same gender then while you're busy with all your man smashing you turn around and say oh but the women are the victims as you lie and you know you lie. And you push guy after guy after guy after guy. You treat him this way. 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 Okay? So, they lose their mind. They lose it. You can't handle it no more. So why are the women the majority of the victims? Because that's the gender you place on the pedestal. Why do you think that gender got on national TV and bragged about the guy's penis being cut off? Because they're on a pedestal. See, like I said, you create your own pillars. I have no sympathy for you. You turn around and not only create your own killer, but then you turn around and use all your cop-outs. You can throw every cop-out at me that you want. 
don't matter to me because I understand the truth. And the truth is it's a fucking cop out. Because you don't want to acknowledge. Because the knowledge comes with responsibility. And you're an irresponsible fuck. Excuse my language. But that's what it comes down to. And then we have this. A pregnant newlywed found shot to death in her Iowa home was a secret love affair motive for murder. Let's go straight to Michael Board. He's a reporter with WAOAI News Radio. Michael, tell us what happened. Take us through the timeline. Yeah, just a tragic end to a life that was spent, you know, for the most part serving her community. Uh, Lisa Tackle was only 23 years old, but she spent most of her adult life serving as a guard at the jail. She was a reserve deputy in her community. This is a woman who cared about her community. That all ended uh, in a heartbreaking way with a single blast from a 12-gauge shotgun. And what we've learned from police in this case, of all the evidence that police have laid out, her husband, 21-year-old Seth Deckel, is dead to rights in this one. They have laid everything out in this case. You know, he was, uh, you know, obviously, you know, not thinking with the right head when uh, what went down this morning, uh, excuse me, what happened on, uh, on the 26th of May. And, you know, the story just gets more and more bizarre. Let's go to Gary Barrett. He's an anchor and reporter with WHO Radio. Gary, first of all, tell us the alibi that the husband had, which is just such a wild story. Well, he said he was in the shower. Uh, he told the, the uh, police that he was in the shower about 5 o'clock in the morning, and he heard a loud boom, which could have been a shotgun. And then he rushed out and found his wife uh, laying in their bedroom dead. So and Gary really Barrett, Gary Barrett, I want to ask you why, you know, both of these, you know, Seth and also Lisa, they're familiar with weapons, right? They're, they seem to be around weapons or in law enforcement. Yeah, they both have uh, the law enforcement background. Seth Teckle uh, had been trying to get into law enforcement in the area. He uh, was about a hair's breadth away from being hired as a jailer in Wapolo County, the county where they lived in. Uh, and uh, Lisa, her father was a deputy sheriff, and uh, she was uh, also a jailer in Washington County, about uh, 45 miles away, and was a reserve deputy in Wapolo County. And so, Gary Barrow, we hear there's this loud sound. Any signs of an intruder? Anybody breaking in? Anything stolen? Absolutely not. Please mm. say that, that there was absolutely no sign of, of any break in at all. I know you're going to say, what that have to do with anything? Well, that has a lot to do with everything. Because that's another big reason so many uh, deaths are happening in this country besides serial killing every single fucking year. It's because of your ability to think that everything is sex. You know, like all you jackasses, excuse my language up here, that always want to say TFL, True Force Woman, is just a group of loser guys who can't get laid. When it's been said a million times over, and if the fucking 100% truth is TFL has nothing to do with fucking getting sex. But because you sick fucks think that everything in life is about sex, one of you sick fucks that are accusing us of being the losers will be just like this guy here. See, Fall, I know that guy right there is one of the people that was calling TFL a loser. We couldn't get laid. And so, what do you do? He married a female deputy, and when he wanted to put his dick in another hole of another female, he shot and killed the one he was with, so that he could open up the door to stick his dick in a new hole. See, I hope he rots behind bars, because that's where he belongs, is behind bars. And as far as the others, should we allow tourism of serial killers? Why not? I think he keeps he shoved in your face every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Every day and never stop and shoving your face every day until you grow the fuck up and acknowledge, acknowledge your behavior onto one another. Because the only way we're ever going to change shit like this and slow it down to almost next to none is to change our behavior, how we treat one another. But as long as you want to keep one gender up on a pedestal and you want to male bash, male bash, male bash, male bash, male bash, and then you fucking vaginas want to help the fucking females male bash, male bash, male bash, and mash and smash your own gender. And quit fucking and whining and crying when you create the person who fucking kills your fucking asses because it's obvious you love to create the people who kill you. And then you like to use your cop-outs. Ooh, they were nuts. Not until you made them nuts.
cats, fools.